What's going back? You two. Blah, 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 blah. Can't can't even do my intro properly. Jeez. All right. What's going on, YouTube? We are back with another wonderful, beautiful, exciting episode of the RPG series. Anyways, this episode is probably slightly more long-awaited than some of the others because we're finally working on that stupid AI. Now, of course, when I created this tiny little segment of code of on C pawn and then cast to the RPG dude and then move to the target. Oh man. Ooh. Yeah, I wasn't very good with AI, but luckily I've gotten much better. Trust me. Like way better. And we're going to make it well way way better. So, we're going to do that first of all by grabbing the tick. And uh well, no, sorry. I, I should not get ahead of myself. And let's just delete this on C pawn because we don't need it anymore, uh, if you believe me or not. So we're going to add a component, and we are actually going to add the AI perception. Now, the AI perception it works kind of the same way as the pawn sensing, except the AI perception is actually a bit smarter. Um, the AI perception allows you to do all five senses, uh, which uh, and, and and then some. Sorry, so you can do the sight, you can do the hearing, you can do uh, you can see, you can hear, you can touch, uh, you can't taste. I'm 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 so so sorry, but uh, I'm pretty sure you could also do smell. So really, if you want to be honest, it does three of the senses, but it also does damage and prediction and team which is you know telling if it's on the same team if it's also another bad guy or another good guy whatever your ai team side is on whatever but really we just need sight so uh if you if i've lost you already sorry go to add component add ai perception click on the ai perception and go to the senses config. Now, uh, a dominant sense, also, you can drag that list down and hit sight, because that's what we want. But on the senses config, config uh, add an element and get, of course, AI sight config. Now, now a little arrow pops up, and we're going to want to click that, and then we'll want to click sense. Excuse me. I don't know if you heard that burp. Anyways, now we've got some stuff, and this is this may look slightly familiar, and that's because it's pretty much the exact same thing as the pawn sensing. So you can, if you have special uh, variables and stuff that you want, you can take those over and put them here. But pretty much, I already know what I want. So first of all. Um, just in case you do decide to use this pawn sensing, change this interval to a very, very small uh, uh, of, um, number. Now, don't make it zero, because zero means it will never update and it will never be able to see anything. But make it like point zero 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 one if it allows you to do that. And it does. So that allows a very small interval. So it's practically immediately that's if you're doing that that's a quick little tip but on the ai perception and the site config we 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 want uh to edit some uh uh let me think edit some variables sorry uh so let's add this uh let's make make this about 75 and um yeah the rest looks good anyways so um the max age, uh, this this means um, uh, that this this is asking when it forgets things, and you can tell it to forget a little bit later, a little little sooner, or whatever. But pretty much once we're out of its sight, I think it forgets. I I, th I think. Anyways, let's let's not worry about that. We'll fix it along the way. But let's go to the animation graph. Now, click your AI perception, and we're not going to do anything over here, but we are going to right-click and add or call a function for a, on AI perception. Now, get AI, get perception, and get actors, or get perceived actors with AI perception. 
Now, this gives a little node that is probably fairly unfamiliar to you, and if it is, that's fine. But um, we need to set it up real quick by just telling it what sense to use, and of course we need to use sight. We need to see. Um, so let's let's drag this off, and let's um, or no out actors. Sorry, we need to promote this to a variable called um, um, actors. If I could spell actors perceived. Yes, actors perceived. Anyways, so we're going to tick the actors perceived, and off of actors perceived, we're going to want to compare, or sorry, includes, no, sorry, let's go to utilities, let's go to array, and contains item that's what we want so we want contains item and what item do we want we want our player does it contain our player sure hope it does and if it does then we'll keep going so we need to grab a branch oh my gosh branch jeez i could not hit the right letter and hit get the contains bool and connect it to the to the condition. Uh, and um, if any of you are wondering, you're like, man, you've gotten so good since then, or maybe you're not saying that. I don't really know what you're saying. But if you are, and you're probably thinking, I've watched the video, uh, no, this is all by very, very painful try and error. So please give me some credit. Please, just a little bit. Thank you. Thanks for that credit. Hey, hey, yeah, you. Okay, yeah, thanks. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Um, anyways, so off of the branch, if it does contain our player, then, which that means, well, we see him, then we need to cast to the RPG bro and move to him. So our, our target destination is, of course, his location. And we've got a small little acceptance radius. Uh, I don't think we need this C's pawn because I don't know of anywhere that we, we, we use the C's pawn. Um, so... Uh, yeah, oh, seize pawn, player scene. Uh, let's let's open this up and see how important that is, because it's, it's been a while. Sorry. Um, mutant anim graph. Locomotion. Run. Oh, okay. So, uh, that's, that's pretty self-explanatory. I get that. All right, and can attack, cannot attack. Okay, so if uh, can attack is true, then that, that, and the other. Okay, that looks about good. All right, so I'm just I'm just kind of going over and trying to fix stuff that uh, uh that sh is slightly uh um wrong I suppose so um, you actually th that's a little broken so let's uh let's this doesn't need to that, that, that should not be connected there we need to individually cast to the bro dude or RPG bro sorry wrong tutorial series we need to individually cast to the RPG bro Because it should not be using one that's from another tick that is also from a branch. So this RPG pro bro, what we can use is get player pawn, compile that, and we are good. So that should be it, as far as I know. So uh, if it's a little broken, maybe I'll have to review some things. But um, let's let's play. And of course, he shouldn't be attacking. He shouldn't be doing anything. But uh, once once we get in his range, he should be. Oh, that's actually kind of funny. Glitched much? We. That's a that's actually a fun little glitch. I'm gonna be honest. 
that I would I would totally use that as like an exploit. Oh yeah, that's awesome. So he gets in our range and he he, we, he does attack. He runs the animations properly, but let's figure out why he's not seeing us. So we're ticking to see if our actors are perceived. Now if he uh, contains our RPG bro, let's uh let's do a real quick tick and um. Cast RPG Bro. And of course as a get player pawn. And uh we're going to set geez. Set play. Set player. Jeez, cannot type. My keyboard's weird in a in in relation to the location of my um, monitor that I'm using for this for the bit the new big 1080p HD monitor. And uh, let's so player should now permanently be set. So maybe that's our issue is it's not checking for a live player. If we break that, compile. Should be good. Alright. So, we're going to ask. We're going to get our perceived actors. We're going to set our perceived actors. And if it contains um, this, we're going to cast to him. Gonna AI move to to there. That should be good. 